In this video, we're going to look at how to track the symptoms that have been selected. The first thing you'll do when you log in is you select the correct profile and click on the button that says Track. This will open a new page that has each of the symptoms that you have selected, the medications that you have really, uh, input as current, an area to put in notes about the date, and an area to add the weather data for the day. In this case, you can go back by selecting this and input data going back by one week. So we'll start inputting data here. We'll say that today this child severely had difficulty being alone, did, complained of being bored, had difficulty falling asleep, but didn't really have too many intrusive thoughts wasn't experiencing a lot of night uh, of mission driven behaviors and that last night they had had they didn't have a nightmare but that today they were experiencing frequent temper outbursts but only mild racing thoughts today they took their medications as prescribed so we leave these checked as yes and yes taken as prescribed then in the notes for april 1st you can add in additional information and you can say he slept well last night but was cranky today and extra clingy there was a play at school and he didn't want to sit with his classmates He cried until he was allowed to sit in the audience with, with us, his parents. Then if you'd like, you can add weather data for the day as long as it is within the time frame. When you click save and score, you will get a symptom severity index score for the day. 63 out of 100. Once you begin adding data into the symptom tracker, it will allow you to graph the symptom severity index, and it will also allow you to graph each and every symptom that you see. We don't have enough data right now in order to be able to show you those graphs, but we'll add some more and be back in the next video to show you the graphs.